This year, the National Land Commission was put on spot over the inflated compensation for land acquisition in the 16 billion shillings James Gishuru Rironi Road expansion project. The commission had increased the compensation cost of one section of the 16-kilometer dual carriage road from 1.4 billion shillings to 6.4 billion shillings before lowering the figure to 5.1 billion shillings. But when the Kenya National Highways Authority hired a consultant to evaluate compensation claims for the project, the consultant put the compensation cost for the same section at 1.4 billion shillings. Five months later, the compensation woes surrounding the James Gishiru Rironi Road persist. Only that this time, it is lack of funds that is slowing down the compensation process. The main challenge is mainly the issue of right of way. Uh, right of way is the main issue from ABC Place all the way to Gitaru. This is a place where now we are waiting for the awards to be completed by NLC, but from uh, Gitaru onwards to Rironi, that one we've already compensated. Kenya has to foot a compensation bill of up to 12 billion shillings to about 4,000 landowners. The entire road section, the 24 kilometer, is around uh, 12 billion shillings, which will be land and structures that are on the, where we've acquired their right of way plus also small-scale businesses who will be given some relocation allowances because most of them will be relocated out of the road reserve. Speaking during an inspection tour of the road, Infrastructure Principal Secretary Julius Korir says the road expansion project is currently 40% complete. We are also urging our colleagues in Treasury so that now we can be able to access the entire funding that is available so that now the contractors have no excuse of not working at all. Now the construction of this James Gishuru Rironi Road, a project that started two years ago, is expected to end in the next one and a half years. The 24-kilometer road is expected to ease traffic from the city centre to the western side of the country. Victoria Amunga from Metropole TV.